Styles Law is located on Route 139 in Marshfield. We also answer legal questions as well as best we can. This is a topic uh, someone has uh, brought up. Uh, Mark, and I'll read this. This is about um, choosing a guardian. How do I pick a guardian for my minor children. Okay, well, that sounds like an important conversation to have. You know, it is an important conversation, Rob, and we run into this a lot with our clients who are working through their estate planning, you know, and being creative and, and uh, setting the stage for the future. And, you know, young families, this is the biggest obstacle, no question about it. You know, they figured out pretty much everything else, and then it's, well, who's gonna take care of the kids, mm. you know? probably the most difficult question to even think about right and visualize that scenario but it's so very important right and the one thing that we always say to parents is um you, we're not replacing you we can't there's mm -hmm. no way we're replacing you so what's next best right and there's a few things that we suggest people think about when they're deciding um and there's a few strategies in in figuring this out but age is very important right who are you thinking about are you thinking about your parents? Because, you know, it'd be pretty tough on the kids to lose their parents and then have guardians that they get super close to and lose them relatively soon thereafter. I mean, that's a reality, right? So the age of your parents is significantly more than you and significantly more than those kids. So you want to you wanna minimize that double loss. But also on the flip side, mm -hmm. you know, Uncle J Joey, who just turned 22, probably not a good choice yet mm, he's got a you fun know. lifestyle he's got to still develop his brain right yeah. so <laughs> he's got a few years to get going for that but also location where they live you yeah. know because you, you can't expect those folks to pack up and move into your house right so you know you're you're the kids are going to have to still make an adjustment that way right too. so is it a, is it the same school system is it the same state what about religious and political thoughts you got to think about those right mm -hmm. you got to think about parenting skills right you see them at Thanksgiving are they parenting the same way you are you know think about that and then obviously there's finances but there's ways around the finances if you have a real awesome caretaker that's perfect in every way but they cannot manage money mm -hmm. there's a solution for that too I mean you could split the duties right it's not ideal because you're asking someone to take care of your kids it's hard to then ask them to make a phone call to a trusted person a fiduciary who's going to make the decision on the finances we talked about that last week but mm -hmm. bottom line shared experience the best way uh to handle this uh without a doubt is to uh both write down the names write them down and then do a draft and start striking them off no nope, that one's not going to work you know susie's okay. got an alcohol problem that's something we have to consider right yeah you know these folks live too far away and then you narrow it down but 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 if you take anything away from this have a conversation with the person talk to them about it is this something that you would be willing to do are you honored to have our children in this situation and if not like we need to know now this would be a good time to tell us so that we don't put this yeah. in a surprise hey mm -hmm. and then doing nothing is also an option and that is not a great option because then proactive reactive right yeah you're gonna be having folks in court making decisions that you could have easily made hmm. and dictated it. So, yeah, if you do nothing, what what happens, Mark? Then well, there could children? be a dispute, right? Yeah. So, you know, your sister may want to take the kids while your wife's brother feels he wants to take them, and I would do better. No, yeah. I would do better. And, and then, can the grandparents still? Grandparents also? might be getting in the mix, but again, that's not a great yeah. option. So better to plan right better to be proactive so yeah. other people aren't reactive as well are there cases where there are multiple children that they go to different guardians or is that not that, ideal i was going to say you can't really divide the you, you wouldn't want you to try to find somebody that can support all those kids that's right okay that's right well boy an important discussion to have uh mark uh, styles is with us uh, kate from duxbury says uh, she appreciates the feel good friday segment and loves the chat and she says it's important to encourage donations. You were talking earlier about uh, helping out the kids in need. And she said a uh, good way to come up with an idea is ask yourself, what was your favorite toy as a child? All right, there you go. Kate from Duxbury checking in Thanks, on the Kate. text line. All right, well, if you want to talk more about any uh, legal questions or the topic of choosing a guardian for your minor children and other areas of, as well when it comes to the law, Mark... Uh, 
Stiles is located on Route 139 in Marshfield. Stiles-Law.com is the website. And you can give Mark a call as well. Mark, how can people get in touch with you? Best way is by telephone, 781-319-1900. And our concierge will make sure that you're placed with the right attorney. And also our YouTube channel, Rob. We just crossed the 1,000-person threshold oh, yesterday. Oh, nice. Yep, so All we right. just hit 1,000 subscribers. Go on to our YouTube channel for free content, Q&As just like this. You can actually go into our page at Styles Law and search search queries, and you'll find uh, that we probably did a video about it, and i um, happy to share that information. But if that's not enough information, 781-319-1900, we can take you through to the finish line. And it's Mark Stiles, Stiles Law in Marshfield. Feel good Friday, every Friday at this time on WATD. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Rob. Have a great week. You too.